Hello Pisces, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your Money and Career Tarot reading for February to March 2021 for the sign of Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So let's get straight into your reading and pull your first oracle card. So what do we have for Pisces please? Angel Spirits Guides. Message for our lovely Pisces, thank you. Thank you. The Chimera, we have imagination clouds your judgment. This can be not seeing the reality of the situation or wishful thinking or head in the clouds energy, can't it? I mean, you have a kind of dreamy element to your sign. So it, it might well be to do with that, that maybe there is something that's clouding your judgment here. How you're seeing something or focusing on something. Let's see what else we get. What do we have for Pisces, please? Angels, spirits, guides, message for our lovely Pisces. In money and career only, please. February to March, 2021. Okay, so I have two cards. So we have positivity, faith and optimism. Oh, you open the doorway to positive experiences and opportunities with your positive expectations and energy. Do not allow negative energy or temporary setbacks to interfere with the path you are on. Keep the faith and keep going. So that can be where your judgments can be clouded by how you're perceiving something here. Um, the second card is have courage to ask for and accept help. Asking for help is a sign of strength and is and as is accepting it as it is offered to you. Very often when you ask God, whatever God means to you, for help, prayers are answered through other people. Be sure to accept this assistance as well as it get, as well as give it to others as you are guided to. I mean, that's a lovely energy, but there's a kind of message here, it feels more like law of attraction, what you put into something, the energy that you have makes all the difference this in the next month or two, okay. So I'm going to pull your overarching energy for the month, Pisces. So what do we have as an overarching energy? Money and career only, please. Money and career only, please. Angel Spirits Guides for Pisces, February to March 2021. Thank you. Queen of Wands. Okay. Move those over slightly. So I'm going to pull five cards, Pisces. The first card is your issue or challenge. Second card is, is what's going for you. Third card is essentially what's against you or any obstacles to overcome. Fourth card is advice from spirit. And the fifth card is your outcome. So what do we have for Pisces, please? Angel spirits guides in money and career only, please. February to March 2021. Thank you. So your challenge, we have the page of coins. King of Swords is what's going for you. Page of Cups is what's against you or any obstacles to overcome. King of Cups is advice from Spirit and the Seven of Wands is your outcome. Bottom of the deck we have the Knight of Cups. Knight of Cups, interestingly enough, is you, Pisces. So it definitely feels for some of you back in your element. So we have imagination clouds your judgment, maybe how you're perceiving something or thinking about something, uh, some kind of clouded judgment, not having clarity. And the message is ask for help where you need it. Again, positive energy can really bring change. 
The Queen of Wands is somebody who, I mean, it can be a person of influence this month. She can be offering, she offers opportunity, so that can be resonant for some of you. Um, as an energy, she's somebody who is in her power. She takes calculated choices, calculated action to bring success. So definitely an energy of make calculated choices, decisions, take action this month. This is an energy of being in your power. Um, very magnetic leader. You might be meeting some kind of magnetic leader in the next month or two as well with the Queen of Wands. Again, male or female energy as all the court cards are. And you have quite a few court cards here. So the page of pentacles, it feels in this situation, I mean, the page of pentacles generally can be about financial career opportunities, the beginnings of something new, the beginnings of change. It can also be about skills development, learning new skills to be more attractive in the job market or, you know, ex, you know add new lines to your business, you know, that kind of energy. But it feels for some of you there's kind of like a lack of progress. A lack of progress. What's going for you, it feels... This can be somebody, what's going for you. The King of Swords um, can be a person. Could be some kind of... It feels like some kind of consultant or interme intermediary somebody who may well be the goal between in terms of getting some kind of job or opportunity you might be dealing with somebody like this it definitely is somebody who is pretty good at what they do might be giving you some sound advice i mean this can be you know some financial advice or can be to do with job advice or career advice as well and uh, the message is to listen to it you know that kind of energy so there could be somebody I mean, this can represent things like recruitment consultants, you know, that kind of energy or um, it's professional entities that have things to do with money, career, finances, giving advice. So you might be dealing with that kind of energy, Pisces. Um, as an energy, so you might be dealing with that kind of person as an energy. The King of Swords is putting a plan into action. He is a strategist. So this is about having a plan and sticking to it, you know? It's that kind of energy, having a clear plan, uh, even a business plan for some of you. If you're wanting to start some kind of business or if you're wanting to kind of like add new lines to an existing business or um, you're wanting to develop your skill set or you're wanting to get some kind of opportunity, this is about having a, a crystal clear plan and sticking to it. You know, it's that kind of energy. What's against you is this Page of Cups, which is an interesting energy because it can be the block. I'm definitely feeling some kind of, I mean, this can be creative blocks, not feeling inspired. It can be feeling blocks as well, you know, feeling uh, lack of progress, that kind of energy. Um, Doubting yourself maybe as well, you know, it can be that kind of energy. So just watch out for this. Remember, this can be our emotional, it, the cups is to do with our emotions and feelings. It could be doubting yourself or some kind of block that you're feeling that you're getting here. It's generally within you. It's generally within your your energy, feeling some kind of block or negativity in some way, shape or form. So just watch out for that, Pisces. Maybe to do with this lack of progress that you might be feeling here. Um, because we have this King of Cups. Yeah, and it, you might be... You might be secretly going for something here. I mean, this King of Cups can hold this this cup that the page holds 
So they may well hold this opportunity that you're trying to manifest. I mean, generally, creative opportunities, creative partnerships, uh, something that's very much close to your heart center, something you really want. So it can be somebody in business. And generally, they're very down to earth, very easy to talk to. You know, you could be, meet, again, male or female energy, but you could be meeting somebody, maybe a leader who is, very easy to talk to you bond with them easily um yeah it's that kind of energy i will also say i mean this can be a real caring energy as well so when it's about asking for help from others there may well be people in your life who are helping giving you advice um fatherly motherly figures um, people around you giving you some kind of support and guidance, caring words of advice, you know, that kind of energy where you might be feeling a block or delay, that kind of energy. You know, the seven of wands we have here as an outcome is if you're competing for something, and again, it can be to do with possibly what this page of coins represents competing for something or facing some challenges or blocks in making something happen here the message is that even though it feels overwhelming here the message is keep on going because you are getting on higher ground than that which than that which opposes you so there's definitely this feeling pisces of keep on going persevere and keep on taking action because you will get head and shoulders head and shoulders above people you compete against for an opportunity or a job uh, or business or something in business, maybe your business that has been challenging, you know, to get off the ground. It feels the message is keep on going. You will overcome this by being in your power. And again, that's what that Queen of Wands is all about. She is about staying in your power, taking calculated action to bring the success. She is the sign of success. A uh, sign of being in your power, um, growth, achievement, all of that kind of energy. So the Knight of Cups is you, Pisces. So there's definitely an energy of, yes, something seems challenging, but the message is keep on going because you will get on higher ground than that which it opposes you and be back in your element because the Knight of Cups is you. I love this energy for that reason. Now, interestingly enough, if there's been some block or delay or something not quite happening as quickly as you wanted it to, it feels like, you know, this Knight of Cups can bring in some opportunity. So again, this King of Cups holds the cup, could be the opportunity. Again, this Knight of Cups. Knights generally are the deliverers of the message. So they're the deliverers of the news. They're the deliverers of the offer. So this very much clearly feels to me like some kind of creative opportunity, very much close to your heart, coming your way, bringing change, because the knights bring change. So I love the energy there for that reason, Pisces. I'm going to pull one more card for you. Yeah, it's interesting. It came out a little bit reversed and the message is don't lose hope, don't lose faith. Star card is, you know, definitely an energy of you are absolutely on the right path. Don't despair. Don't become disconnected. Don't lack faith. Don't doubt yourself. You know, it's that kind of energy because you will be back in your element. So I really like the energy here. It feels for some of you the change is coming. But there are some challenges. There are some blocks here. I feel some kind of professional person is influential in bringing this change around. So again, there's a message of, of, of take their advice, take sound advice this month, listen to the professionals, you know, it's that kind of energy and don't lose faith, don't despair because for some of you, again, this is an energy of being back in your element. Let's pull one more card. Let's clarify this Knight of Cups. 
Let's clarify this Knight of Cups for Pisces, please. Yeah, we have the Hermit card, which is a card of finding answers from within on how to take action in your external environment. Um, it can be a card of healing. It also is a card of something that raises your vibration from within as well. So don't lose hope. Don't lose faith. It feels like something is going to raise your vibration here, Pisces. Yeah. Good news. Good news. Good news to do with some kind of opportunity. Interestingly enough, we have the page, the page and the challenging positions. And then we have the final page, the green light the go, you know, getting a green light, finally getting that green light. The page can hold opportunity, the beginnings of something new, the beginnings of change. Could be to do with this Queen of Wands. She could be offering you the, the one, the opportunity. And this could be the beginnings of the news, the message to do with the opportunity that you've been competing for or going for. Yeah, it feels very beautiful. So I'm going to pull a final card. Final message for Pisces, please, in terms of money and career. Yeah, you know, the cards are pretty much in sync, Pisces. We have Koi Carp, abundance. Move with the flow of abundance around you and through you. It's a state of mind. Um, and it kind of translates into your physical reality. And again, this is an abundant energy, the beginnings of abundant, the page of pentacles. There may well be some delays, things not quite coming to fruition as quickly as you want them to. There may well be some hoops to jump through here, Pisces, I have to say. But it feels like something is putting you back in your element, will raise your vibration from within. And again, maybe some kind of like good news, green light that you're getting, um, something shifting, you know, something happening. So it definitely feels like abundance is coming your way. So I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful month for you all and I will see you next month or two for you all, I should say, and I will see you next time. Thank you.